Hey, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today's video, we're taking a look at some bold claims by Jake Paul. And together, we're just gonna whip out this imaginary magnifying glass. And then we're gonna take a look at if we can find some clues to debunk these bold claims by none other than Jake Paul. So what's the bold claim? Well, the bold claim was tweeted out by Jake Paul naturally, and the claim was, let's not let YouTube win here. They do this to creators whenever they please, whenever they see a risk, whenever they wanna protect themselves. I'm one of YouTube's riskiest creators and they're punishing me for it. Okay, I've just realized that Jake Paul is the real life version of the character that Zac Efron plays in that Seth Rogen movie, Neighbors. Why do dudes like this think they're changing the world by getting drunk and partying? I'm one of YouTube's riskiest creators and they're punishing me for it. Let's not let YouTube win. Yeah, because YouTube should totally mass promote you leaving your own state with social distancing measures in place to go to other states that don't have social distancing measures in place to go party with a bunch of dumb asses in America's hot spot for the fucking pandemic. Yes, YouTube should totally mass promote that. And no, YouTube isn't shadow banning Jake Paul. Jake Paul has built a brand up making adult-ish content branded as kids content and grown a massive child audience from that. But now he just no longer brands this content as kids content anymore. YouTube's not gonna push R-rated content to a bunch of kids. It's not really rocket science, man. Just by looking at his recent thumbnails and titles, I wonder why they really aren't pushing these videos to kids. Maybe you just need to cram more stars into your thumbnails considering the two most popular out of your last recent videos, you know, they both have one in them. But all right, let's just take a look at this video and see if there will be any reason YouTube wouldn't recommend this to a child audience. My ex-wife and the Nelk boys are in Miami. My ex-wife? Wow, this totally looks like they're obeying social distancing rules. <laughs> You know what the people of America need right now? They need to watch a bunch of selfish brain influencers travel across the country because they literally can't go partying legally where they live. So they have to fly across the country to go to America's hot spot of the pandemic to party and act reckless, which is sadly normalizing people to think it's okay to go to a crammed bar or a crammed restaurant or going to house parties right now. These guys are so selfish, they need to leave the state they reside in to literally go party in another state to then bring whatever the f they catch out partying back to their home state. Fucking all aboard SS lung collapse. I thought SS was a, um, a ship. Yeah, I know. Bro, importing a virus from state to state has never looked more claustrophobic than this. And this isn't even the first time he did this. Remember the whole Arizona situation with Jake Paul? Yeah. The whole reason he was in Arizona in the first place is because Arizona government is low key spineless. They couldn't keep their bars and clubs closed for long enough. And now we have all time high numbers. Hey, good, good job, Arizona. Thank you. But gee, I, I wonder why Arizona did that. Probably has nothing to do with a certain person in a certain governor's cabinet being a part of a certain family that may or may not own a majority of the clubs and bars in Scottsdale area. But uh, hey, probably just a coincidence, right? Helicopter just comes. <laughs> <laughs> Helicopters outside spotlight on our yeah. apartment. <laughs> just kidding. Uh -huh, it was a joke, kinda, right? <laughs> <laughs> But as I was saying, he was probably like, oh, well, where do I go to go party and be dumb? Do I go to Arizona or do I go to the only spot that has more cases than Arizona? So he's like, all right, I'm probably not welcome in Arizona anymore. Well, might as well go to Florida, America's number one pandemic hotspot. They make a montage of making it look cool partying during a global pandemic. Wow, man. Thank you. Because getting a deadly virus has never been cooler. Jake. King Paul, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you for your service, man. Wow, I wonder how many people have actually gotten this pandemic from Jake Paul incentivizing it's okay to go out. I don't know, guys. D don't be stupid. Wear a mask. Stay at home if you can. Keep up the social distancing. And hopefully we won't all f***ing from this sh The top comments, literally, Americans really think doesn't exist. Thank you, Jake Paul. Th thank you for be for representing our country. Do you want to hear a tweet I read today, by the way? Kind of relevant, and not to Jake Paul, but just one of the things that made me want to smash my head into a concrete wall. What? It was a random person also. I don't even, it's just something I came by. Someone tweeted, weak-minded people wear masks. People with beautiful faces show them off. Shut the 
up. <laughs> Just shut that. <laughs> like, what is that supposed to even mean? Oh, uh, it's just dumb is trying to circle their opinion. Yeah. They just want, they're they're just posting it blatantly out because they want people to agree with them so they can feel good about themselves not wearing a mask. A bunch of people are like it doesn't exist. <laughs> are you serious? Are a lot of yeah. people saying it doesn't exist? Yeah, with like American flags as their profile pictures. Oh my god. So the comments what what are the comments like? It's just like it's actually it's just a bunch of Jake Paul or circuit Saying what? Wanting him and Tana to get back together. Oh, that's the pressing issue. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, on that note, I feel like we should kind of end the video there. W what else is going on? Uh, Shane Dawson's currently being canceled by everyone and their grandmother, um, including the Smiths. And uh, Dr. Disrespect was banned from Twitch permanently, and we still do not know why. It's been a busy week, to say the least. But please, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Do you think I'm overreacting, or do you think that he really should start self-isolating and stop condoning this behavior? Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like on it. If you're new here, I welcome you to the channel. It'd be awesome if you subscribed. And I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video. Peace. So athletic, I've been up since six, making hits like tennis. I've been on fire, I just need my credit. Wanna go far, need to change my settings. Reaching for the stars on so my feet, touch heaven. I've been head first, bitch, I already want seconds.